Today, I'm training the highest rated home builders in America, as well as the worst, or should I say the least trusted builders in the nation. Building a home is stressful and often overwhelming, but it's also one of life's crowning moments. Watching the construction of a home that you designed is simply awesome. This will be the place where your most wonderful memories are made. But first, you've got to make it through the often grueling home build process. And it all starts with choosing a builder. This is crucial. If you select the wrong company, building your dream home can become a nightmare. So today, I'm sharing the list of the most trusted and lowest rated builders to help you avoid unnecessary stress and problems. Make sure you watch to the end where I'll share three critical steps you should take before you build a home. Now you've got to be careful. I Google searched best builders in 2023 and this popped up. This is not the list of the highest rated builders. As a matter of fact, the order of this list matches a different list. On the right side is the list of largest builders in the country. You can see that DR Horton built the most homes by far and squeaked out the best revenue. Lennar came in second, Pulte third, and so on. But as you'll soon discover, biggest doesn't always equal best. Frankly, when it comes to home builders, many of the top producers are at the bottom. Here are the findings from a recent study done by Life Story Research, who ranks the most trusted home builders in America. Their ratings, reviews, and awards are based on detailed survey feedback based on the opinions and trust ratings of all those who are surveyed in this home builder study. They rely on real people's opinions and rigorous social scientific survey standards to obtain the home builder ratings. The highest rated companies are awarded with five stars. The least trusted got two stars. I'm sharing the study to provide awareness, though I can't promise a great experience if you choose one of the best builders and I'm not telling you to avoid the lowest rated builders. Either way, it's not a decision that should be taken lightly. Okay, here are the top 10 highest rated home builders in the country. I'll start with number 10 and work my way up to the nation's most trusted home builder. Surprisingly, there's not one dominant builder review site. Okay, coming in at number 10, Century Communities. They received a score of 104.8, which equates to a three-star rating. My online investigation revealed the following. Better Business Bureau, 107 out of five stars with 108 reviews. Now, I can't say the name of the second review site for the fear YouTube will punish me for offensive language. Yelp, 1.3 out of five stars with 163 reviews. And they got decent reviews from New Home Source, getting 3.8 out of 5 stars with 946 reviews. Number 9, David Weekly. They received a score of 106.3, also earning 3 stars. My online search revealed something surprising. I'm not sure how or why, but I scoured the internet and couldn't find reviews for several builders on this list from many of the common sites. But here's what I found for David Weekly. Better Business Bureau, 1.46 out of 5 stars with 35 reviews. Trustpilot, 3.1 out of 5 stars with only 3 reviews. Yelp, 2.1 out of 5 stars with 27 reviews. Number 8, Dream Finders. They received a score of 106.8, earning 3 stars. This is what I found online for them. Better Business Bureau, 1.1 out of 5 stars with 58 reviews. Yelp, 1.2 out of 5 stars with 45 reviews. House, 2.2 out of 5 stars with 26 reviews. At number 7, the builder who has a really long name that's, uh, well, kind of hard to say. <laughs> they received a score of 106.8 and 3 stars, same as Dream Finders. Here's what I found for them online. Consumer Affairs, 1.3 out of 5 stars with 257 reviews. Better Business Bureau, 1.13 out of 5 stars with only 8 reviews. Yelp, 1.5 out of 5 stars with 40 reviews. Most of the reviews are found on New Home Source, where they got a 4.3 out of 5 stars with 3,750 reviews. <laughs> Not too shabby. Number six, Madame Homes. They received a score of 107.1, the first on this list to get a four star rating. Once again, my online search was disappointing. At our business bureau, one out of five stars with 17 reviews. Home stars, 3.4 out of 10 stars, which equates to 1.7 out of five stars with 259 reviews. Yelp Phoenix, 1.9 out of five stars with 23 reviews. There were no national Yelp reviews for this company. Okay, just real quick, if you find this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. For the best real estate tips and trends, please subscribe and ring the bell. This allows me to keep making videos like this to help awesome people just like you. Thanks. Okay, onto the five best builders in the nation. Number five, LGI Homes. They received a score of 107.1, earning four stars. LGI received an astonishing 4.4 out of five stars on Consumer Affairs with 2,126 reviews. LGI has clearly put significant emphasis on getting good reviews on the specific site. It's a clever tactic that surprisingly few builders employ. Better Business Bureau, 1.24 out of five stars with 127 reviews. Trustpilot, 3.3 out of five stars with 191 reviews. 
New Home Source, four out of five stars with 227 reviews. You may have noticed that LGI has the best reviews of all the builders so far. You'll soon discover that they have the highest ratings of any builder that I have researched. It appears that they not only care about how they're perceived online, but I'm willing to bet that they actually care about their customers as well. If LGI is building homes where you live, you're a lucky ducky. Number four, Ashton Woods. They received a score of 108 with four stars. For some reason, they also have very few online reviews. Better Business Bureau, 1.3 out of five stars with 20 reviews. House, 3.4 out of five stars with 18 reviews. Yelp National, 1.3 out of five stars with 31 reviews. And Yelp Arizona, 1.3 out of five stars with 46 reviews. Now for the three highest rated builders in the country. This next builder is one of my favorites. Number three, Toll Brothers. They barely beat out Ashton Woods with a score of 108.1. They also received four stars, but I must say that I expected better online reviews from Toll Brothers. Consumer Affairs, 1.3 out of five stars with 255 reviews. Better Business Bureau, 1.1 out of five stars with 103 reviews. Yelp, 1.6 out of five stars with 56 reviews. Number two, TriPoint Homes. They received a score of 109.1, which earns them a rare and prestigious five-star rating. TriPoint disappointingly also had very few online reviews. I added Yelp, Houston, and Arizona to give you four reviews. Better Business Bureau, 1.03 out of five stars with 31 reviews. Yelp, Houston, 1.4 stars. And Arizona, 1.9 with 43 reviews. Okay, now onto the best builder in the good old US of A. Coming in at number one, Taylor Morrison. They received a score of 109.9 and an obvious five-star rating. But you'll probably be surprised to see their low online review scores. This is what makes it so hard to judge which builders are best without doing an extensive study like Life Story Research. My online search revealed this. Better Business Bureau, 1.14 out of five stars with 137 reviews. Trustpilot, 1.5 out of five stars with 30 reviews. Yelp, 1.4 out of five stars with 162 reviews. Like many builders, Taylor Morrison doesn't seem to be too concerned with their online reviews. No doubt, it takes a lot of time and energy to follow up with everyone who leaves a negative review. Builders know that they can't please everyone and many choose to focus instead on their current clients. Anyway, Live Story Research said this. In the 2024 America's Most Trusted Home Builders study, Taylor Morrison emerged as the leading brand in trust. Notably, this marks the ninth consecutive year that they've secured the coveted number one position. I wanna share why I chose not to include reviews from builder websites. I spent 15 plus years in the industry. To get the highest scores possible, many builders only submit requests for reviews to clients who had a positive experience, often after giving them a nice closing gift. And when builders receive bad reviews, they'll also do whatever it takes to make it right, as long as the buyer agrees to change or remove their negative remarks. This helps them achieve scores far above while you find on the other online review sites. And because building a house is so stressful, it's impossible even for the best builders to achieve a five-star rating. This makes it hard for you to know which builders you can trust, and that's why I made this video. Okay, I'll soon reveal the worst builders. But first, what other builders receive recognition? Builder Magazine named Ashton Woods as the 2023 Builder of the Year. They came in fourth place on this list. Ashton Woods has grown from just under 1,200 closings in 2010 to 8,591 closings in 2022. And a number 12 spot on the latest Builder 100 list. And Toll Brothers was listed among the world's most admired companies by Fortune Magazine. The nation's leading builder of luxury homes has been named the number one most admired home builder. It's the eighth time they've received this honor. Okay, now onto the naughty list. This is your 10 lowest rated home builders in the nation according to the extensive study done by Life Story Research. You may or may not be surprised to see some of the names on this list. But the shocker? Many of the largest builders in the country find themselves on the bottom. You'll see red numbers indicating the builder's rank as far as total units closed. Number three, Pulte is in the bottom 10. Number two, Lennar is the fourth least trusted builder. Dear Horton, the nation's leading builder, is the third worst. Beezer comes in at second. And KB Homes, the nation's sixth largest home builder, sits at the bottom as America's least trusted home builder. It's really too bad. I like their homes. I recently released a similar video to this where I take an in-depth look at these 10 companies. Be sure to check out my video, Avoid These Home Builders. Look for the link below. Now, as promised, here are three critical steps for building a home. Number one, do some research. Take a deep look at home builders where you live. You might want to consider the midsize to larger local builders. It's not always true, but my clients seem to have a better experience when going that route. Number two, hire a real estate agent with new home construction experience. FYI, builders will pay your agent's commission. So it won't cost you a dime to have professional representation, someone looking out for your best interest. An experienced agent can also guide you through the design phase and they'll be much more likely to catch mistakes by the home builder. Your realtor should also know who the best builders in the area are. Number three, choose two or three builders to compare. 
Once you've completed your preliminary research, visit the model homes for two or three of the best builders. Compare the location, home sites, floor plans, pricing, and etc. This will help you determine which company best meets your vision and goals for the type of home that you'd like to build. If you're ready to go, be sure to watch How to Find the Best Home Builder. If you're not sure where to start, check out How Do I Buy a Home for the First Time. Look for the links for all my recommended videos below. If you're looking to buy, sell, build a home, or invest in Utah real estate, I get contacted all the time. Please feel free to call or text me with your questions. I'd love to meet you and I'm honored to serve you. For everyone else, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you have a friend or a family member looking to build a home, you can easily text this video to them. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty the Real Estate Guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that little bell below. It'll make you feel good.